Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to implement our basic recall system in Unreal 5.1 for when we're moving and when we're not moving. So we're going to take the assault rifle here, as you can see here, I'm not moving. It's going a little bit up and if I start running, you can see that the impact is going everywhere. We're going to drop this weapon and do the same thing with a shotgun. So. And same thing with the sniper. So obviously it's helping to make terrible shots if you do a recall system. <laughs> it's up to you. So anyway, so we'll go right in it and see exactly how to do this. First thing we're going to do is going to our weapons. So we're going to go to the assault rifle. And under the weapon here, we have our weapon minimum pitch. We have our maximum weapon pitch the minimum yaw and the maximum yaw. So the pitch is obviously up and down and our yaw is left and right. So what we're gonna do from here, very, very, very simple. We are going to put the value that we need. So for our assault rifle, I post minus 0.5 for the minimum and minus one for the maximum. And I repeat the same thing for the yaw. You can compile and save. We're gonna go to the shotgun here and we have our recall minimum pitch will be minus three to minus one and minus three to minus one for the yaw. And you can compile and save. We're gonna go to our blueprint for our sniper rifle and for the minimum pitch, I put minus eight for the maximum pitch, minus five. And I repeat minus eight and minus five. So obviously you can put the number that you want to play with. Uh, further you go so the minus will be towards left and if you put a positive value it's gonna go towards right so when you shoot left for minus and if you shoot with a positive value is gonna go to the right side of the screen so when this is done we're gonna implement our recall system here is very very basic so we're gonna go to our line trace by channel right after your line trace by channel we're going to put the recall system right here uh, when we're not moving. So we're going to create a function and I'm going to call this function get recall when not moving. And from here is going to be very, very, very simple. Nothing complicated. So we're going to drag from the function here. So add controller pitch. We're going to take our pitch here, reproduce the same thing. And this time we're going to take the yaw. Now we have our two value here. So our recall are implemented in each of our weapons. So we're going to go to our weapons. We're going to go there to our variable. And we're going to do a reference to our weapon master class. So we're going to take our weapon master class and just drag it on the screen and do a get. From our weapon master class, we just have to search for recoil. And we're going to take our minimum pitch and we're going to take also our recall for the maximum pitch i'm going to repeat the same process to get our yaw so minimum yaw and maximum yaw right here here we go we have it right there uh, obviously you're going to see that we run to a problem here when you try to plug it to the pitch here it's not working, you can only put one at the time. So what I'm gonna do to solve that little issue, we're gonna make our value to go random. So we're gonna take those two value here and we're gonna drag and we're gonna search for random and we're gonna take random float in range. We're gonna take the first one here and we're gonna be able to plug our minimum and our maximum to it and our return value to here. So when we're going to shoot is going to take our minus 0.5 to minus 0.1 and it's going to random between those two value and it's going to give us an outcome right here. We're going to repeat the same process for those two here so we can just copy this node. We're going to plug our minimum and our maximum to it. I'm going to move that a little bit out of the way and I'm going to get our return value to our controller yeah, input right there. Same thing is going to take the minus 0.5, minus 0.1 and random to there. 
for our assault rifle and same thing and so on for the other weapons we're going to compile this we're going to go back to our event graph and in our event graph we're going to take our function here so the recall when not moving we're just going to drag and drop to our board and we're just going to connect the pins to it and the target will stay self so now if we compile and try this out we're going to do play and we're going to take the assault rifle as you can see here it's going up we're going to drop that and take the shotgun and same thing with the assault rifle i mean the sniper rifle So we're good with this so we can see it's working for those two no i mean those three weapons so we're going to continue with our um when we are moving so here we're going to do a macro so we're going to have our new macro just click here on the macro we're going to rename the macro get recoil when moving actually i did a spelling mistake right here so get recall when moving we're going to drag that to our board and we're going to double click on it so the we only need an output so we're going to add a value to the output it's going to be a vector so i'm just going to call that vector and we're going to make sure that we have the node vector here so from this it's going to be a little bit different from the other one because we have to get our when we're moving so we're going to search for get velocity and we're going to take this one here get velocity and from the return value of get velocity we're going to get a clamp we're going to search for clamp vector size we're going to take this one here and from the return value from that we're going to search for our vector length so right here the first one right here and from the vector length we're going to drag from it and we're going to search for multiplier and we're going to multiply that two more times as you can see here on the screen and now from this we're going to need our axis so if you can see here if we were breaking that open actually i'm just going to drag from it and i'm going to make a vector we're going to take make a vector right here and it's giving us our value for x y and z so what we need we need to plug this one to x this one to y and this one to z however we need to plug something here so we're going to plug our return value from our vector link here and we need a value to when we're shooting to tell the game hey we want our bullets to go at different location on the screen so we can always search for random float in range so we're going to take this one and we can multiply that two more times and we can re we can plug all of them in x y and z and here you can see that we have minimum and maximum value for each of them so you have to determine how much on the x you want your aim to go and the y and z so we're going to make that very very simple we're just going to put something like minus 500 to 500 so it's going to go to have a possibility to go on the x axis to 500 to the left and 500 to the right so it's going to shoot like my cursor is going left and right so it's going to be random between those value i'm going to repeat the same thing for the two others because i want the same thing around for those value as well now if we compile this and go back to our event graph we're going to have access to plug or um, macro right to our vector here so if you don't have a pin here you can just add a new pin to make some space so we can compile this I'm going to go back in it because I forget to do something. So the minimum clamp will be zero, but the maximum will be one. So we're going to put one in that box. Now we can compile. And if we go and try it out, we're going to start with the assault rifle. So I'm not moving. And if I start moving, 
you can see that it's shooting a little bit everywhere. We're going to do the same thing with a shotgun. We're not moving. And we're moving. So we're barely able to shoot where we're going. Same thing with the assault rifle. I mean the sniper rifle. So you can see that for our three weapons, the recoil system or basic recoil system work pretty good. So nothing very complicated in this. So on this video, I will let you go and uh, get ready for the next one. So, but we have been able to implement a recoil system for each of our three weapons that we have something very basic and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.